everybody, welcome back to the Weld School page. Uh, I said I would put a second video up, so here it is. We're here with the Blue Demon Blue Art STI 200 ACDC with Pulse. What is more fitting than Blue Demon, me and Blue Deanie on a Blue Art? I, I just had to be a blue man. So here it is. I'm going to test it out on 110 stick and TIG and 230 stick and TIG and uh, try to hit just about everything on there. Uh, again, like I mentioned in my first video, there's quite a few settings in there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go through those settings and how you set up the machine. The other thing I wanna do that a lot of people don't do, pull the plastic off, okay? There's actually a plastic layer on there, so take it off. And then you get a nice shiny screen here, okay? So, again, this next part is gonna be uh, me setting up the machine. It's pretty pretty simple. You got power in the back, you got your gas for your TIG in the back, you got your positive negative, whether you're doing DC positive for stick or DC negative for TIG on steel, stainless, whatever. Uh, and then just keep your hook up on AC. You don't have to change anything out. You got your gas here for your TIG torch. And you have some remote controls here uh, for the torch and the uh, foot pedal. So check it out. So I started off here with a thin to thick all around lap weld on steel using ER70S-2. I have obviously 100% argon and I'm running about 130 amps all around this thing. Here I'm running a stainless steel lap on a little bit thinner and using, I believe, a 309L rod, 332, probably a little over 100 amps or so. And the only thing I wish I would have changed is using a bigger nozzle or a lens body just to get a better gas flow. So they are turning out a little bit dark, but that's an easy fix. The next series of welds are going to be the four different waveforms that you can use for AC. I started out with square wave at 120 hertz, and that's what you see here. This next weld is going to be on square wave again, but at 250 hertz, so a little over double, which means that it's going to go in and out of those cycles uh, more than two times faster. These next two sets of weldments are going to be on sine wave, so a little bit of a soft wave uh, or softer arc. It's basically the old school uh, sine wave. And again, 120 and 250 hertz. You can hear the difference and definitely see the difference as you're going. I'm hopping into the conventional square wave, which is kind of the original square, which is on the uh, you know transformer rectifiers. And uh, a lot of people probably learned how to AC weld on this, you know, type of waveform. Hitting it again at 120 and 250, 
Trying to keep apples to apples. All the thicknesses are the same for the metal and also the same 332 uh, filler rod. I think that I'm using the 5356 on every single one of these. And then finally hitting the triangular wave, which is kind of the newer waveform that are on these inverters. And they are just gonna barely spend any time at that peak amperage on the positive and negative side. Uh, you know, there really are some benefits to using triangular. Maybe not so much on this thickness, but it works fine. So pretty neat that it has all of these. I went ahead and tacked up a bunch of tees and laps and I'm going to go through a couple different size stick rods and different types of stick rods. This first one is a 6010, just a straight stringer pass, no manipulation, uh, not the, the whip paws that, that most people are familiar with. I'll do that next. Uh, the first thing that I do notice about the way that this machine operates is it does run hot. So a lot of you are like, great, I, I actually prefer to run my, uh, my welds hot. So maybe, you know, that's a great benefit, but definitely notice it right out of the box. Uh, it runs hot, so, you know, you might have to go down a couple uh, amps to lock things in. Uh, but overall, a great arc. It was spitting out some really nice welds. This second one here is a whip pause, you know, forward back. So I never touched hot start or arc force after it was set. I think I was maybe at 30% or so on the arc force, which is fine for a 7018. I wouldn't really go above that. 6010, you could really jack it up if you really wanted to. Uh, but again, uh, that arc force is there. Keep it lower on your 7018s, maybe a little higher on your 6010s, even if you want to use it at all. And then I ran this first eighth inch 7018 at 115 and just really smooth welds. I mean, I was really impressed. Uh, no hitch in the arc whatsoever. Uh, just really nice. So I went ahead and just kept doing multi-pass, stacking beads, uh, rod after rod, just to see, you know, running at 115 or even higher, see if it would trip the duty cycle, Not, nothing whatsoever, it was just fine. Then I thought, hey, we got some 532, 7018 laying around. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Went to 150 amps and just, again, just rod after rod, stacking beads and no problem whatsoever. Actually, when you see the slag come off of this, I mean, it's extremely smooth looking welds. Uh, thoroughly impressed. So I really like the idea that I can take a 32 pound small or compact machine uh, out on the job, weld in the garage, doesn't matter. I mean, it's a small machine, it packs a big punch. It was really proven it with beat, you know, rod after rod, beat after beat at different amperages, uh, different settings, everything. So uh, really an overall great machine to have. So here I tacked up some 3 16th plate. I was gonna weld with 332 6010 and I'll run some 332 7018. 
But uh, here I'm doing a whip pause on this lap weld and just runs. Uh, the one tip I will say, uh, the user manual does say a 25 amp breaker and you won't have any issues whatsoever. Uh, if you're running off a 15 or 20 amp, uh, it might be a different story. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you want to go with what the manufacturer does say to keep this thing running and not tripping the breaker constantly. Now I'm going to run a 332 7018. Again, we're on the 110 volt hookup, just a standard plug. I uh, think fired right up. And uh, I think I'm on 3 16 again here, so pretty thin stuff, but it's perfect. You know, if you're going to weld at home in the garage, you know, just small repairs, things like that. Uh, really just a, a nice handy machine to have around. Uh, but, I, but I think it proves itself. You'll see it here. Uh, Slag chips easily, it's, it's tying in the metal. Uh, overall impressed, I know I've said that multiple times, but it's a great machine for the price. So there you have it. That's Blue Demon, Blue Arc, 200 STI ACDC. Uh, I think the video proves itself, it's a great machine. Uh, I, I basically have uh, pros and cons to discuss. Cons, you don't have one, you need one. Pros, $999. Doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching.